This week we're going to be changing the control panel in a Pit Boss vertical pellet smoker. Stick around. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of BS with AJ. As I said before, this week we're going to be changing the control panel in a uh, Pit Boss Copperhead vertical pellet smoker. Uh, it's actually been giving me a lot of trouble for quite a while now and I was doing a lot of research trying to find out what the problem was. It was giving me the ERL code. So I decided to finally break down and call the company and see what the problem was. And they told me it was one of two different problems. It's either the thermostat that's gone bad or it's the control panel. And they said it sounded more like the control panel. So they went ahead and sent me the control panel and uh, we're going to be installing it. It didn't come with any kind of instructions and that's kind of the reason I wanted to make this video. Because it's pretty simple to somebody that knows how to take things apart and put things together. I've been doing that pretty well my whole life. But if you've never messed with anything like this before, then it might pose to be a little bit of a challenge. You won't know where to start. So I wanted to go through step by step and show you guys how to change that out. But anyway, if you like videos like this, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And consider supporting BS with AJ on Patreon so we can do bigger and better projects for you guys. Let's get started. Alright guys, I have a Pit Boss Copperhead. It's a vertical smoker. It's the Pro Series. And uh, it's been giving me a lot of trouble here lately. Uh, it's, it's been giving me the ERL code. I did some research on it and uh, everybody's been saying they've been having different problems with it. So I went ahead and called the company to see what the actual problem might be. And uh, they told me that it was probably the control panel so they sent me a new one here. As you see it's sitting right there on top of the smoker. So that's what we're going to be replacing today, that control panel. So if you don't know how to do this, if they sent you one, they sent me one without instructions. So I'm hoping it'd be pretty easy. So we're going to find out here in just a couple minutes. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and empty out all the pellets because I'm going to lay this on its back. That way I can get to the bottom and uh, replace the parts easier and I don't want these pellets to spill out. So I'm using two food grade buckets here that I got from the local store. We're just going to open this up. For that reason right there, I can only get it so full here. Well, never mind, I only need one. Let's see how many pellets are left in here. Ah, oh, there's still quite a few. Now that we got the majority of the pellets out, wasn't near as full as I thought, so I've only filled up one bucket. But that's not the point. <laughs> we'll set this to the side, put a lid on it. All right, second step I'm going to take is to take off the door. Now, the reason I'm doing that is honestly just to make it a little easier and make sure you don't tilt it the wrong way and end up breaking the glass in it. So it's pretty simple. Open the door up, lift straight up. And then set it in a uh, safe spot. That way it won't fall anywhere. Alright guys, we emptied all the pellets out. We went ahead and took the glass door off. And uh, so I went ahead and took out the water pan. And uh, I think that's called the flame cover. I'm not 100% sure the name of that. But basically the part that covers the flame. Because that's loose. So I'm going to go ahead and leave all the racks in it. Because they don't move around a whole lot. And we're just going to gently lay it on its back. So that way we can get to the parts to go ahead and change it out. Alright, we're going to go ahead and take this tray out of the way so we can see what we're working with here. Should have took that out a minute ago. And, uh, so let's see here. So the looks of it, looks like we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. And that may be it, actually. Uh, the cord, the power cord, has a screw on this side holding that in place. Looks like there are a few uh, Phillips screws right here. That's got these wires held in place here. And then looking at this uh, new piece they sent here, let me see where that's focusing at here. 
all these little tabs here should just be able to push them in and push that out once we get it all disconnected and then we should be able to just slide this one back into place and snap it in all right so so far we've only taken out two screws there's two screws together here and two screws together here i'm taking off the screws that are facing right here and there's two on the back side we're going to go ahead and take those off now Drop that screw. All right, I got it. No big deal. I found it. All right, so that comes loose right there. And it looks like we may have to take out these two screws here on the bottom. Let's see if y'all can see that. There are also two screws down here on the very bottom that hold the same piece in. We'll go ahead. Looks like we're gonna have to take them loose. All right, that cover come right off. Got all the screws back here in a safe place. And uh, you'll notice there's a little pan right here. There's two, one, there's two screws on this side and two screws on this side. You have to take them loose to get your wire out of here because of these zip ties holding it into place. You won't be able to just pull it right out. And plus the the plugs themselves are probably they may fit through there easily. I don't know. I'll take them out just to make it easier. Now these screws are a little bit shorter, so you'll want to keep these separate. All right, I got those four screws out. That pan should just come right out. Yep. All right, so that exposes our wire here. So we can come in and we can cut these from the back side, pull those zip ties out, and then we'll start unhooking our uh, wires down here. All right guys, we took that little tray out of the inside here, exposing these wires now. So I've got a pair of wire cutters here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all these zip ties. Looks like there's four of them. And then this piece will come right off. all them zip ties off of there let's get down here to the wires now well guys it's pretty windy out here today so i hope y'all can hear me pretty good especially on this part right here all right so there's one more zip tie right here holding all these wires together we're going to very carefully just cut the zip tie so pull it out make sure it's just the zip tie we'll cut that loose be real careful doing that you don't want to accidentally cut one of these wires all right so Right now, it just looks like a jumbled up mess of wires. So let's look at our new piece here. Let's see, let me pull this into view a little bit here. All right, so it's got three main wires here. This one here looks like it's gonna be a ground. It's just got a washer on it. So that'll probably be the ground. This skinnier one here has a plug that's completely different than the rest of them. So that'll be pretty obvious to change out. But these three here, all the plugs look very similar. So here's where you're gonna to need to pay attention. All right, so you'll notice each plug, this one has two whites and a red. This one has two whites and a yellow. And this one has a white and a purple. All right, so these three, we're gonna to have to make sure you get in the right order. So basically, we're just gonna look at this down here and I'll show you where you want to connect these here. Let's see. Maybe let me zoom in a little bit here. All right, here we go. I got a little closer now. So, like I said, this just looks like a jumbled up bunch of wires right now. So, you'll see this one's pretty obvious. This is going to, I mean, this is a, that small piece for the new one here. But these three here, we got the same colors. We got two whites and a red. And then it's going to connect to the two reds down here. So, 
Basically, two whites and a red is going to connect to the red. So we're color matching on this one. This one is two whites and a yellow. Alright, and it's connecting to the two yellow ones. So again, we're just color matching on this one. Now this one right here is a little bit different. It's got a white and a purple. And it's connecting to two black wires. So we're color matching on these two, and this one with a purple is going to go to black. All right. So basically, all we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and un we're going to take these loose. We're going to take our ground loose, which is back here. I don't know if you can see that. It's too bright for me to be able to see it on the camera, honestly. But the ground is that little screw right here. Okay, you can't see my fingers, so it's got to be out of camera. There, we go. there it is. There you go. There's our ground screw. That's the one with that little. Uh, circle on it you're going to be replacing right there and uh, we'll just go ahead and take all these loose real quick now that we know which ones go where and then all we got left to do, to do is take off the power cord and then take our unit out all right so to take these wires loose it looks like it's pretty simple you just pull them apart so that's not a big deal they just pull straight apart we'll go ahead and do these three and kind of get those out of the way this smaller one here, it looks like it's a little bit different. So we're going to have to uh, probably push these two sides right here. Let's see if you can see that. There's two little pieces right here. We'll push them in. And it looks like we'll push down on this side right here. And it just comes out like that. So that, that's pretty easy too. So actually all you need to do, you don't even need to press the two sides in. It's just this right here. See that set up there? We'll push on the back side. Let's see if I can do it where you can see it. Push on the back side, pull it apart. All right, so that one's loose. We'll get it out of the way. Then the last one we got connected is our ground, and we'll need our screwdriver for that. All right, you don't want to lose any of these washers or anything, so be very careful. Oop, drop my screw. Alright, so our ground is loose. We've got this screw right here. Let's see, is it focusing on me here? The way the sun is, it's kind of hard to see. But I've got this little washer right here. Looks kind of like a gear. And this one screw right here. We're going to leave these together. That little washer deal was on the back side. Right up against this, uh, where the paint would be, I guess. So we'll set them to the side. Alright, so everything's disconnected over here. We're going to go ahead and move over to taking our power cord loose. Alright, so here's the side with our power cord. You just kind of follow it over here. And right here, you'll see there's a little, that's what's holding our uh, power cord in place. So we're gonna, we've got a screw on the back side over here. It's just a Phillips screw. And uh, so we'll take that loose and we'll go ahead and take our power cord out as well. All right guys, we've got our power cord taken loose from our little power cord holder deal there. So uh, here is where your Phillips screw is that you're going to take loose that's actually holding your power cord onto place. So we'll take that loose. I'm going to put you on the back side so you can see the, uh, where it, what it's actually holding the cord in place. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take that loose now. I'm hoping you guys can see in here. But I don't know, it's really bright on this side. I can't see it in the camera. We're just taking that loose right here. Alright. Let me show you what this looks like real quick in case you couldn't see it before. Alright, so here's that piece here in case y'all couldn't see it over there. Uh, so I went ahead and put the screw back in place, but this is the Phillips screw you're taking out. It's got a nut on this side right here. And then it's just uh, sandwiching this plastic piece here that's, that actually holds your cord into place. So once you take that loose, you'll pull out your screw. And uh, there's no wash or anything. It's just a screw and that nut. And then your plastic piece should just slide right off of here. Open it up just a little bit and slide it right off. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this back on here. 
just to keep all the parts together and we'll put it over there with the other parts. Alright guys, so now to take the actual panel itself out, we're going to need a flathead screwdriver. Now remember our, on our new piece here, it has these three tabs on the top and there's three tabs on the bottom here. So I'm going to kind of demonstrate what we're going to be doing here. I'm going to take this flathead screwdriver, we're going to pretend that that plate is right here. And we're just going to gently reach in underneath there and push right on this piece right here, that little, that little tab right there. We'll push in on it a little bit and pull it up or you can push it up from the bottom so let me show you how we're doing this here all right so now what we're going to do like i showed you we're just going to kind of gently put our flathead screwdriver underneath here try and find that pin you may have to move it around a time or two you can use your new piece as a reference to find where those pins are or you can look down here there we go i got one of them the second one well, the third one just popped about right up. All right, we'll go ahead and do the same thing to the back. Just kind of barely give it a little bit of pressure. You don't want to mess up your uh, your plate here. All right, so now we'll just pull this on out. Pull those wires out as well. All right, we'll just set this to the side. Now we'll reinstall our new one. Reinstall. We'll install our new ones. <laughs> All right, so our power cord is going to go this direction. All our other wires are going to go on this side of that heat shield. And then just snap it right into place. Just push it and you'll hear it snap, and that's when you know it's secure. All right, guys, now to put it all back together, we're just going to do it in reverse order. We'll take our new wire here. It's got a little twist tie on it. So we'll go ahead and get that off real quick. We'll take that plastic piece with the nut and the Phillips screw here. We'll go ahead and open this up. And one thing you will want to do is if you notice here, it's flat on one side and then your wire right here goes so basically the flat part needs to be up against this where this hole is so we're just we'll keep our flat side facing to where we want it to set at we'll open this up slightly push our wire into place and you can just slide it down the wire until it gets to the right point we'll take our little Phillips screw stick it through here and we'll stick our screw through these two holes here that pla the plastic holes there and we'll take our nut, put it into place, and we can tighten it up using our Phillips screwdriver. And you can just kind of hold that nut on the inside. All right, we get it nice and snug, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up our cord here. I generally keep mine wrapped up and just bring the extension cord over to it. But that's just kind of the way I do it. I'll leave it a little bit loose here. Put that right on there. All right, so that's out of the way now. We'll go on to our, our other wires. All right, so the first problem I've realized that we've got here, I was gonna go hook up our ground wire and you'll see that it's really short. Our other one went all the way down to that silver spot right there where my finger is pointing to, right down there. So uh, this is way too short to reach that. Now, you may be able to take one of these other screws loose, uh, scuff off the paint, and put it right on there. And that may be fine, but just to be sure, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I've got my old one right here. Well, right, right here, this one. <laughs> it's already got the connector on this side, and it's really long. So I'm just gonna take my wire cutters, and I'm gonna cut it down somewhere close to the base to make sure that we got plenty of length just like that I'm gonna cut the whole thing off like that alright so we're leaving on this white protective uh, the protection on the wire here because once we splice onto this piece we're gonna need that so basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pull this back a little bit I'm gonna cut off this end right here and I'm gonna strip both sides that one and then our old wire here 
and I'm going to use one of these butt connectors here. This is for 22 to 18 gauge wire. So uh, basically a butt connector, if you've never used them before, they're used in automotive stuff a lot. So uh, let's see here, see if you can see that here. So basically we're going to slide the, one of the wires into this side, crimp it, and slide the other wire into this side and crimp it as well. It's got plastic so it's a protective coating to keep the wire uh, protected. And then we're also going to have all this white stuff here. Well, this white protective piece here that should be able to go over that. We'll double check that real quick. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, that white stuff will slide right over that. So that's not a big deal at all. Now, uh, this may be a little bit too long. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do here is I'm going to connect our old one right here. Then I'll go ahead and cut this one off and strip it. We'll put our uh, butt connector on this side. And then we'll give it a little slack, basically. I'm going to, I'll connect it here and I'll cut it a little bit long, but I don't need, you know, an extra six inches of wire. So that's what we're going to do. We'll take our uh, screw. Remember to make sure your little washer is here on it. nut there on the back side that's where it come from and we'll just go ahead and screw this into place I apologize for all the wind guys all right our ground is good and secure there now all right we're just gonna set that part there out of the way I'm going to pull that white part back here and expose the wire itself. I'm going to cut this off. And then we'll go ahead and strip this wire. Looks like it is... Yep. Looks like it's 18 gauge. Alright, so we've stripped off about a half inch of wire or so. We'll slide it into, into place here. So a half inch is a little bit long. We'll cut just a little bit off. We're going to twist this up a little bit. We're going to take, take this, slide it over it, and we're going to use the, uh, on the back side of your, or your wire cutters, you've got these little crimpers here. So we'll use that. Make sure it's set in there really good. Crimp it down really good and tight. All right, that's good and secure. All right, so now, uh, like I said, I've already got this connected here, and I don't want to have six inches of extra wire on this, so I'm going to slide that plastic, that white protective coating over that real quick. Uh, all right, so it looks like I can probably cut it. I'm going to go maybe an inch or two above there just to be sure we got plenty of slack. And we'll cut the whole thing off here. All right, we can do away with that wire now, that short piece there. All right, we'll slide this back, that white protective part again, exposing our wire. And we'll go ahead and strip off little less than a half inch. You just kind of want to test fit it to make sure there's no exposed wires sticking out. There we go. Twist these wires up real good. Light it inside of there. All right, there's no exposed wire sticking out, so that's good. Oh, that one is. Twist it up a little bit better. All right, so we'll slide it on the inside of here. We'll go ahead and crimp this one down as well. All right, you 
want to test it to make sure you got it crimped in there really good. All right, that one's good. So we're just going to take that white protective stuff here, slide it right over the top of this if we can. It worked just a minute ago. should work now. <laughs> there we go. All right, now that's all covered up and good to go. Now we'll go ahead and move on to our other wires. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and connect the rest of our wires. So we're going to start with the easiest, which is this one oddball one. We'll just take it, snap it together. That one's done. Now we're going to remember, we got to remember to do the color code on this one. So the first one we're going to hook up is this. The two whites and the red is going to connect to the three reds. Just line it up, slide it right into place. All right, next one we're going to hook up. Two whites and a yellow is going to hook up to the three yellows. Line it up, snap it right into place. And the last one is going to be our one white and our purple wire. And it goes to the two black wires. We'll just line it up and snap it into place as well. All right, all our wiring is now hooked up. It's technically functional at this point, but now we need to go ahead and put all them uh, black covers back on here to protect all of our wires. So we'll go ahead and uh, I've got some zip ties here. I didn't think I had any on hand, but I actually do. So let's see here. I think they were all just kind of bundled up kind of like this here. Put a zip tie on that to hold them all together. I do remember it wasn't real tight or anything. It was just kind of holding them and holding them all in place here. We'll take these cutters here and cut that off. All right, so we'll go ahead and put our bottom piece on first. This is this L-shaped looking piece. This open short part sticking out is going to go towards your grill. And that's going to go right where your ground wire is. So you just kind of tuck all these wires and connectors and everything into here. Come down to it. There we go. There we got it lined up. Now we'll take one screw and put on this side here. Get it started here. That one started. We'll go ahead and put our back one on too. Alright guys, well my camera died on me and then my memory card got full so I ended up finishing this and then having to start back over i took it all back apart just for you guys to show you guys how to do all this so all right so we've already got our bottom piece on that l piece that l shed the short piece is going to be facing back towards the towards your grill here that's going to be where your ground is to make sure it's good and covered we've already got our two screws in the bottom they've already been tightened up now we're going to be putting on the top piece here i apologize for the wind guys I can't control the weather, unfortunately. So, basically, the bottom that's going to set right on this little lip right here is completely flat. In the top part, you'll notice that it's got this little, it cuts in a little bit and it gets a little bit smaller, basically. That's going to be our top. You want to make sure that's facing up to your, uh, up to your unit right here. Now, if you remember, we had zip ties on this originally. 
And then we had this plate sandwiching the, uh, the wires in here as well. So we've got to put all that back. The zip ties, I would say, are probably optional, but they're cheap enough. You can get them at the dollar store or, you know, your local hardware store or whatever. So I'm going to show you the way I did this the first time. All right, so I've got all my holes here. This side over here is going to be facing the back of the grill. So I'm going to be taking my zip tie here, and I'm going to put the short tapered end in here, feed it through. And I'm going to do this, the, whenever we originally did this, I think, I believe it had four of them. It's got five sets of holes, we're only going to put four zip ties in here, because that's plenty. So we're doing this with all four holes here that we're putting in. The very top one, we skip a set of holes, <clears throat> and then the rest of it, basically. I've got it put in one side. So now what I'm going to do is, you want to make sure your zip ties face in the right direction. If you know how zip ties work, you'll understand what I mean by that. Uh, basically you want your, if there's a flat side, it's got that bulge on the back, it's got a flat side here. Make sure your flat side is, uh, that's where your other piece needs to go to. Whatever. We're messing with zip ties. You don't know how to use zip ties. Come on. <laughs> anyway, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start from the top and work our way down. And we're just going to really loosely, we're going to put this zip tie around here and feed it back through that other hole that's right next to it. And we're just going to leave these loose, but we want to get it to where it starts. Alright, so it started on that one. And we'll just continue on with these until we're done. And once you hear it start snapping, you're good. Alright. Again, uh, you, can, you may not have to put these zip ties on. But, uh, like I said, zip ties are cheap enough and you can get them pretty much anywhere, so you might as well. Just to have make sure that your wires are in a good position. You don't want to accidentally smash them when you put that back plate on or anything. So. Alright, we got our zip ties on there really loose. Now, we're going to leave these loose and we're going to do this part very last. Alright, so now we're going to take our wires and there's a little slot right here in your little heat shield right here. We're going to slide those into there and we're going to slide this right over that little, you'll see where it steps in a little bit right here on the bottom piece. It'll set right on top of that. And we're just going to line up our hole. Oh wait, no, nope, just kid. Hey, hey, I almost skipped a step. <laughs> Alright, so before we do that, we're going to put on our plate here. Almost forgot about it, but I remembered at the very end. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just slide this into place here. Line up our top hole. And remember, these are them short screws you need to put in. And you want to leave these loose until uh, you get all four of them in, otherwise you're going to be fighting them. here. Now we'll go ahead and slide our wires in that little groove in our heat shield, slide that into place, and we'll start putting these screws on. Now that we've got all our screws into place here, we're going to go ahead and tighten up our zip ties. You don't have to get them real, real super tight or anything, just get them fairly snug where there's not a whole lot of loose parts back there.
All right, that's got our wiring done now. Let's go ahead and step back. We'll go ahead and set our grill back up and all that. All right, let's go ahead and set our grill up. We'll put our door back on and we'll go ahead and fill it full of pellets also. Alright guys, well that's the end of our video. Uh, I will tell you this, it's been a little bit of time and I've tried to use the smoker since then and that was not the only problem. So I will contact the company again and they went ahead and sent the uh, thermostat as well. That is, that's a lot simpler of a fix and uh, I'll be sure to make a video about that as well if you've never done that before. It should be a pretty quick fix so keep your eyes out for that video coming up. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe and consider supporting BS with AJ on Patreons so we can do bigger, better projects for you guys. And I'll see you next week.